Look at this. This is mold. This is moisture. And I've, I've had moisture in my highs before. But I've never seen it ever. In 11 years, I've never seen this. So something went wrong in regards to the old keeping the moisture out. I mean, this is just terrible. Right, so this is, this is step one. But the, the hive. Oh, look at that. Right? This is, this is, well, I mean, they're going to get moldy dead bees anyway, but this is, this is even worse. This is, this is the worst moisture I've ever seen inside my hive. I've seen water collect, but look at that. I mean, that's all, right? No wonder these bees got sick, right? This is just a bunch of unhealthy crap inside the hive, making the bees sick. Knocks their, their immune response down to practically zero, and Nosema kicks in, right? The seam, which is always in wait, waiting for ideal conditions to make a move, and this is it. Look, look, look at this, like this is moisture, right? So this is what makes the bees sick. Ain't no doubt about it. Uh, this feels like it's got some weight to it, yeah. So there's some more crystallized honey on the edge there, and there. So it's possible that I was feeding them, I know I was, I was probably feeding them into the, into the fall when I should have stopped. I, I, I don't think it's full of no, no sema. I, I'm beginning to lean in that direction now. I'm also tempted to remove this stuff because um, it's advertised as being able to hold in 97% of the ambient heat. I don't know about that, but I can feel this painted black and I can feel the heat coming off it because it's painted black and the sun's out. And like, is this thing holding me in heat now or is, what's it doing, right? I think I might just tear this off. I'm very tempted to tear this off, but it's, it's such a well-wrapped hive. I just, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I will. All right, I just took it off. And there is some moisture, you can see, but it's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but there is like, you know, a bit. This, <laughs> I think the silver tape was the big, big mistake. It's, it's just cold, right? It's holding in, it, the fact that it's cold and it's, you know, bleeding condensation, it's a, uh, Let's just see if this has been holding in moisture. Whew, look at that. Right? So, moisture gets in there and the tape holds it in. Right? And if there was a propolis seal, that moisture would break the propolis seal. But yeah, look, that's all, that's all water, right? So that's water being held right around the seal. And I kind of got a feeling that's what happened with the other hive. It just, yeah, look. There it is. Can you see it? Can you see the the mold growing between the super there? Huh, it's like little cobwebs. So, and I think, and this was a propolis seal. There still is propolis, but that's, that's it. Boom. <laughs> that looks, that's evidence enough for me that at least the tape was a bad idea. I don't know if the wrap was a bad idea, but that tape is, I don't like that, so I'm taking it all off right now. <laughs> yep, look at that. See, there's a big crack right there, but it's filled with propolis, but you can see because there's been moisture being held in with the tape, it's, it, there's mold, look, there's mold, wet, white mold growing in the cracks. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy, yeah. I can see that, I can totally see that. This, this also is a defective super, big time. Look at the big crack there. So I got a deal on some of that uh, silver furnace tape. And so I went nuts with it, sealing the cracks between all my defective supers with the silver tape. And I think it was a bad idea. I think that was the, de the demise, caused, this caused the demise of this one, this hive over here. 
or it didn't help. And this is the this is the wrap, and it's just full of condensation. All the insides of it was just it's full of condensation. So um, yeah, maybe it does hold in 97% of the ambient heat. But is it worth it? I mean, I'm not saying it's it's bad. And it, I may not have, you know, perhaps I didn't wrap them tightly enough and I should have sealed the tops and whatever, you know. And I did seal the top on this one, so that was, that was an excellent seal overall, but I don't know. So maybe it's not the wrap, maybe it's this silver furnace tape, which was the bad idea. And I kind of think it was. I'm out at the farm again, and the wind is in my microphone, I know, and I am really tempted to pull this wrap off because I got a feeling that this wrap on that hive that used to be right there um, held the moisture inside the hive, that moisture got underneath and it just stayed inside next to the hive stayed into the wood, seeped through the cracks in between the supers, broke the propolis seal between the supers, water seeped in, stayed in, and all the bottom frames got moldy with white fuzzy mold. And it created a sick, unhealthy environment for the bees, knocked them back, did, did a number on their immune system, their immune response, you know, their ability just to stay healthy and to fight off Nosema, which is always present in honeybee colonies, but they doesn't, it doesn't take a hold of the bees until they're sick and stressed. And I think that water, moisture inside that hive, uh, was the first step towards killing these bees with Nosema. It just knocked them back. That's my idea. That's my thought. And uh, I might not use this again. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Yeah. So I really wish I, if I had a warm day, even a remotely warm day, I would tear this hive apart and rebuild it and make sure that these bees are nice and dry inside a nice dry hive. Um, I might have to work on some of the upper ventilation too. I have an idea about that too. Why that, especially in this hive over here that, that got just full of poop, um, I think I know why something else threw them off too, but I'm going to get into that later. But anyway. Look at this. This is mold. This is moisture. And I've, I've had moisture in my hives before. But I've never seen it, ever. In 11 years I've never seen this. So something went wrong in regards to the old keeping the moisture out. I mean, this is just terrible. Right, so this is, this is step one. The, the, the hive. Oh. Look at that. Right. This is, this is, well, I mean, you're gonna get moldy dead bees anyway, but this is, this is even worse. This is, this is the worst moisture I've ever seen inside my hive. I've seen water collect, but look at that. I mean, that's all, right? No wonder these bees got sick, right? This is just a bunch of unhealthy crap inside the hive, making the bees sick. Knocks their, their immune response down to, practically zero and Nosema kicks in. Right? Nosema which is always in wait, waiting for ideal conditions to make a move and this is it. So except for the mold, this, there's nothing wrong with this frame. Here's a dead one. So this is moisture. Definitely moisture. And look, it's all moldy. So a lot of moisture, a lot of mold in this hive, and I'm wondering, despite like the, the wrap, the wrap might have, and that silver tape might have kept the moisture in. But look, but look at this, like this is moisture, right? So this is what makes the bees sick. Ain't no doubt about it. Uh, this feels like it's got some weight to it, yeah. So there's some more crystallized honey on the edge there, in there. So it's possible that I was feeding them, I know I was, I was probably feeding them into the into the fall when I should have stopped. I, I, I don't think it's full of Nosema. I, I'm beginning to lean in that direction now.
So I decided to remove the silver wrap that was around this hive. Um, and I'm going to remove this stuff too. Let's just see if there is moisture being held in there. Yeah, that's wet. Yeah, that's wet. It's another reason why I'm tempted to load up on a few uh, poly hives or styrofoam hives um, because I think I'll get a better seal between the boxes in the winter time and as long as I give them enough ventilation I don't think that'll be an issue for moisture in the winter and I won't have to deal with all this cracks between the hives between the supers but your 10 bucks that uh, <laughs> this bottom medium is full of when I dig into it, it's gonna be full of more uh, full of mold too So this is the uh, the bottom board from the hive that, well, we think might have nosema, but um, it's also the, the, the bottom two mediums of this hive are just completely full of moisture and they were soaked. And I'd meant to take this uh, bottom board out of circulation um, because I'd noticed in previous winters that uh, th that uh, for whatever reason, um, I found moisture in these hives with this, that had this bottom board, and it's, it's not. It's got nothing to do with it, it being a solid bottom board. But there's something. There must be something in the wood. Like the whole thing has been painted top to bottom, inside out, all over the place, which is normally not what I would do. But um, <clears throat> I would just leave the wood sort of exposed on the inside. But uh, um, this thing is waterlogged. I can feel the weight of it. It's this is this is not just normal wood. It's it's there's something it's it's heavy with with like it feels like a waterlogged piece of wood. And it's not doesn't I don't think it's rotten, but it's definitely um seems to absorb moisture for whatever reason, even though it's all painted. Maybe it's because it's all painted that it couldn't breathe, you know, moisture got inside the wood and it couldn't couldn't get out. I don't know. But there's something about this bottom board that uh, seems to attract moisture in the winter time. I've noticed it before and I meant to take it out and, uh, and I, f I didn't have time to do it and, and look at that. So I don't know if that's a part of the what's going on here but I mean this is just I can feel this. This is just heavy because it's full of water. It's just it feels like a waterlogged piece of wood. It's just it's way heavier than it should be. And uh, so whatever's going on there <clears throat> you're gone. So this is the bottom board that I had in my hive that had a, well, in a hive that got soaked with water and moisture. And uh, so this is a, it's a bottom board, homemade bottom board that I got from somebody some years back, three or four years ago. And uh, this is a homemade bottom board. And it was painted, every inch of it was painted inside and out. And I've seen that, I've seen people do that, but I don't know if it's a good thing to do or not. But like the, you can see this, I just took an ax to this and it's just waterlogged. The, 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 pot, the plywood is completely soaked. So there's something about this inner cover or this bottom board. And I scraped, I just recently, just, just now scraped all the paint off it. Um, there's something about it that just wasn't, I mean, even though it's fully painted, every winter it was getting, damp and I've noticed that the bees in this hive in the, in the hive that had this bottom board were always just damp on the bottom and and it's something I don't know why if why this one bottom board would be such a waterlogged mess but I mean it's just it's just uh, maybe no no I don't know it's like so this was the this was on top of it like this was the front of it right so and maybe because that part wasn't painted it got waterlogged up but i mean it looks pretty i don't know it's, it seemed like a well made there's nothing wrong with it right there's a well designed well made bottom board but ever since i've had it every winter that, that i've had i've used it the, the the bees in that particular hive or whatever hive it happened to be were always the the, the hive's always a bit damp and the bees are always a bit you know lethargic and look at that, right? 
That's soaked right through. That's it. Weighs it. It's so soaked that it's, it's actually heavy with water. It's like it's waterlogged. And I don't know why. Um, I really don't know much about building things or how wood works or anything like this. So I'm sure there's an answer, an obvious answer. But uh, yeah, that's garbage. I'm also tempted to remove this stuff because um, it's advertised as being able to hold in 97% of the ambient heat. Now, I don't know about that, but I can feel this painted black and I can feel the heat coming off it because it's painted black and the sun's out. And like, is this thing holding in heat now or is, what's it doing, right? I think I might just tear this off. I'm very tempted to tear this off. But it's it's such a well wrapped hive. I just I don't know. Yeah, maybe I will. All right, I just took it off, and there is some moisture you can see, but it's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it would be. But there is like you know a bit. This <laughs> I think the silver tape was the big big mistake. It's it's just cold, right? It's holding in. It, the fact that it's cold and it's, you know, bleeding condensation, it's, a, it's like a stainless steel toilet seat. It's just cold and uncomfortable. <laughs> let's just take off some of the wrap, some of that, and see what it looks like. Let's take off this one. Well, actually, let's take off this one because if the bees probably aren't down here anyway. Let's just see if this has been holding in moisture. Whew, look at that. Right? So, moisture gets in there and the tape holds it in. Right? And if there was a propolis seal, that moisture would break the propolis seal. That's my guess. I don't know. I'm trying to sound confident, but, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, it's still a guessing game. But yeah, look, that's all, that's all water, right? So that's water being held right around the seal. And I kind of got a feeling that's what happened with the other hive. It just, I'm, I'm pulling this off too. Screw it. Yeah, look at that. Look at the water coming off. So I don't know if the same thing would happen with duct tape or if it's just the silver stuff. It might just be the silver stuff. I hope it's just the silver stuff. I think it is because I've been using duct tape for, for ages and I've never had anything like this. Um, so, yeah, well, there it is. Can you see it? Can you see the the mold growing between the super there? Huh, it's like little cobwebs. So, and I think, and this was a propolis seal. There still is propolis, but that's, that's it. Boom. <laughs> that looks, that's evidence enough for me that at least the tape was a bad idea. I don't know if the wrap was a bad idea, but that tape is... I don't like that, so I'm taking it all off right now. Yep, look at that. See, there's a big crack right there, but it's filled with propolis, but you can see because there's been moisture being held in with the tape, it's it, there's mold. Look, there's mold, wet, white mold growing in the cracks. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy, yeah, I can see that, I can totally see that. This, this also is a defective super, big time. Look at the big crack there. Um, in fact, I can see right through, that, right through the other side of the hive through that crack. Son of a gun, look, I can see this. Yeah, I am going to clean this up. I'll bet you from here to here, it's nothing but mold too. So I got a deal on some of that uh, silver furnace tape, and so I went nuts with it, sealing the cracks between all my defective supers with the silver tape, and I think it was a bad idea. I think that was the, de the demise, caused, this caused the demise of this one, this hive over here, or it didn't help. And so I've, I had to put, I just put duct tape over this crack because it's, it's still, there's actually big, 
big old crack down there that I can see right through. So I can see the advantage of having uh, overwintering deeps, single deeps, instead of, uh, you know, uh, double deeps or anything that has, has more than a single super because you won't have cracks. You'll just have a single box, right? There's no, there's no cracks between the boxes. I'm taking all this garbage off. I will not be doing that again. But this one needs a seal. <laughs> I gotta put some tape on that. I mean, this is a massive crack. Oh no, look, it's actually, it's, it's filled in with propolis, so it's not, not too bad. And this is the, this is the wrap, and it's just full of condensation. All the insides of it was just it's full of condensation. So, um, yeah, maybe it does hold in 97% of the ambient heat. But is it worth it? I mean, I'm not saying it's it's bad. And, and I may not have, you know, perhaps I didn't wrap them tightly enough and I should have sealed the tops and whatever, you know. And I did seal the top on this one, so that was, that was an excellent seal overall, but... I don't know. So maybe it's not the wrap. Maybe it's this silver furnace tape, which was the bad idea. And I kind of think it was. So I will definitely be uh, dismantling this hive as soon as I can. The first warm day I get, I'm going to clean them up, put them in a nice clean hive. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the bottom of that is uh, a bit moldy too. So I just took the silver wrap off of this hive, which seems to have done well this winter. I've seen no signs of anything bad happening. They clustered low and slowly worked their way up. Uh, so maybe there's, there's no moisture issue, but I just pulled all that uh, the wrap off. And let me just feel. Yeah, see, there's a bit of condensation there inside. Look, my hand is wet now, but... Um, it's dry though, but the, most of the hive is dry. Like it's not, it's really not wet. Uh, I wonder if it's got to do with just the location. Although this hive tends to get wet because it's under a tree. Snow falls off it all winter long. Uh, anywho, let's see. Yeah, it's a bit of condensation, but yeah, and it's wet hair. So I don't know. Um, maybe there is a way to do this right, and and maybe the issues that I had with my other hives on the farm that were all wet had to do with this this uh, silver tape. So let's take the silver tape off this one and see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. There's more. This, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. It's uh. It's damp underneath the tape, <clears throat> and it peeled off half the, t half the paint. I know in a lot of places in the UK, they don't paint their hives. They just use raw wood. Um, apparently, the, the raw wood allows the wood to breathe and, and the hives to dry out uh, easier when it's once the drying conditions arrive, when it's, it warms up a bit. So. That stuff is gone. Whether it's holding in heat or not, it's gone. The other difference between this hive and the, most of my other ones is that I wrapped is this one has a single piece of uh, it's a single piece of foil. It's not some of my other ones they couldn't reach the full like this one is two mediums, three mediums high, and this wrap was cut to fit just that in a single piece. But some of my other hives that were wrapped required two wraps of the silver wrap, the overlapping wrap, so I don't know if that really made a big deal, big difference. But I think it might be just the tape. This silver tape is just, you know, it's cold. It's, it's like, uh, it's like a piece of metal right into the side of the, pushed right into the crack of the hives. Mm -hmm.